Welcome back students. I am Bhavna and today we are going to apply some formulas and functions to our worksheet and make beautiful charts with them. Formulas are equations that perform calculations on values in our worksheets. It is an order of values, names, cells, references, functions and operators in a cell that work together to give a new value. A formula is always begins with equals to sign. Take for example, if you want to display the sum of A5, B5, C5 and D5 in cell E5, you have to enter a formula equals to A5 plus B5 plus C5 plus D5 in a cell E5. There are four different types of formula operators. Arithmetic, comparison, text concatenation or text joining and reference. Arithmetic operators are used to perform basic mathematical operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, combine numbers and produce numeric results. The symbols for each of the operations are shown on your screens. Comparison operators are used to compare two values. When two values are compared by using these operators, the result is a logical value either true or false. Some common comparison operators are equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to and not equal to. The symbol for each are shown on your screen. Concatenation or joining operator is used to combine two or more context, more text in a single piece of text. Ampersand symbol is used for this operator. Reference operators are used to combine range of cell for various calculations. Some reference operators and their meanings are as follows. Colon is the range operator which produces one reference to all the cells between two references. Comma is the union operator which combines multiple references into one reference. And space is intersection operator which returns a reference to the cells common to the range in the formula. Results provided by the formulas are dependent on the preferences of operators. Preferences of operators are as follows. The highest priority is given to colon or range reference, followed by negative numbers, then percentage, exponentiation, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction and concatenation and least priority is given to comparison operators. Now that we know how to create formulas, let's work with some predefined formulas in Calc. These pre-made formulas that performs calculations using specific values in a particular order are called functions. Functions make it easy to perform common calculations on data. In order to use these functions correctly, you need to understand the different parts of function. Each function has a specific order called syntax, which must be followed for the function to work correctly. The basic syntax is to create a formula with function is to insert an equal sign, a function name, example, sum, and an argument that contains the information related to formula to calculate such a range of cell references. Functions are categorized into various groups based on the type of data that they work on. Text functions are used to remove extra characters, for example, trim, clean, etc. Logical functions are used to perform Boolean operations on given data. Take for example, and or not, etc. Date and time functions are used to create date and time. For example, date, time, date value, etc. Financial functions are used to calculate the financial calculations such as investment valuations, interest rates, for example, FV, PV, received, etc. Maths and trigonometry functions perform mathematical calculations including arithmetic, sum, products and trigonometry. 
sine, tan, etc. are some examples. Information functions provide the information about error in formula or data value. Engineering functions. Functions are used to perform calculations related to complex numbers, Bessel functions, etc. Database functions. Functions are used to calculate the average, maximum or minimum data from the database list. Statistical functions are used to find the largest and smallest value from a list of data values. Example, maxa, large, etc. Now let's discuss some useful calc functions. First up, we have the sum function. This function, as clear from the name, is used to add all the values provided as argument and to display the result in the cell containing function. Argument type for this function is all numbers. The result returned by this function is a number. The syntax is sum. Number one, number two, like that. Example, if you want to display the sum of values of cells A1, A2, A5 and A6 in the cell A9, then you need to simply type equals to sum in the bracket A1, A2, A5 a6 in the cell a9 and press enter the sum will be displayed in cell a9 if you want to add a range of values then provide that range in sum function as an argument example if you want to add values from a1 to a5 then write equals to sum in the bracket a1 column a5 next up we have average this function calculates the average of all the values provided as argument to, the, the, to this function. Argument type for this function is all numbers. Return type for this function is number. The syntax is average in the bracket number 1, number 2, etc. Examples to calculate the average of the values of range starting from A1 to A5 in cell B9 you need to write equals to average in the bracket A1 colon A5 in the cell B9. Moving forward, we have the count function. This function basically counts the number of cells that contain numbers and numbers within the list of arguments. Argument type for this function is any type. The result returned is a number. Syntax is count like value 1, value 2. Example, if the values contained in cells A1, A2, A3 and A4 are 5, 7, true and 10 respectively, then equals to count in the bracket A1 colon A4 will return 3 because there are 3 numbers in the given range. Next up, we have the max function. This function is used to return maximum value from a list of arguments. Argument type is all numbers and return type is number. Syntax is max number one, number two. Example, if the values contained in cells A1, A2, A3 and A4 are 5, 7, 2 and 10 respectively, then equals to max in the bracket A1 column A4 will return to 10. Minimum function is used to return the minimum value from a list of arguments. Argument type is all numbers and return type is a number. Syntax is min, number one, number two. Example, if the values contained in cell A1, A2, A3 and A4 are 5, 7, 2 and 10 respectively, then equals to min in the bracket A1 colon A4 will return 2. Let's now create some charts to understand our data easily and more effectively. In Calc, charts are created by using Insert tab. LibreOffice Calc supports charts, graphs or histograms generated from specified group of cells. The generated graphical component can either be embedded within the current sheet or added as a separate object. Some common type of charts are column chart. In this chart, values are displayed in the form of vertical columns. 
many different data series and their values are displayed on x axis and y axis respectively next up we have the bar chart category they are listed vertically so that the bars appear on the horizontal thus there is less emphasis on time flow moving forward we have the line chart line chart tends to emphasize the rate of change rather than the volume of change over time then we have the pie chart in a pie chart only one data series can be plotted making up 100% they are used to compare the size of the parts with the whole area charts are used to compare the changes in volume of a data series over time emphasizing the amount of change rather than the rate of change scatter charts are useful if the data on the x axis represent uneven intervals of time or increments of measurement before making our own chart let's understand the components of a chart x axis is the horizontal axis also known as the category axis y axis is the vertical axis which is also known as the value axis so data series is the set of values you want to plot in the chart chart area is a total area of the chart legends is a unique color or pattern which helps you to identify an individual individual data series chart title is the descriptive text aimed at helping users to identify the chart axis titles are the titles given to the axis that is x y grid lines are horizontal and vertical lines which are inserted in the chart data label provides additional information about a data marker now that we know about the basic components of a chart let's make some steps to create a chart are as follows number 1 select the data you want to summarize visually and then click on the insert tab a context menu will appear then choose chart option chart wizard dialog box will appear then select chart type as column bar etc then choose the desired option in normal click on the next button and then select a data range and click on the next button now change the order of data using add or remove button click on next button choose the title legend and grid settings and click on finish button you have your own beautiful chart ready with this we have now completed the basics of libreoffice calc now we have an activity for you you need to collect the weather data of your place for 15 days and create a spreadsheet calculating the average temperature for 15 days do not forget to add a beautiful chart to aid your data you can send in your project at iamlearningcomputers@gmail.com if you don't know how to send an email don't worry we are going to learn it in an upcoming video till then this is bhavna signing off have a great day